this is going to be satisfying if they provided it works. Look how good that looks. Here's the moment of truth. Shogun Customs are using the Tint Man, which is the same reader the police use, and then we'll know whether the chameleon tint they have provided is legal for use on the UK roads. It's Nick from uh, Shogun George. Customs. How you doing? And Luke. You alright guys? They are about to install a chameleon tint on the ST that is completely road legal. Now if you saw my TikTok videos you will know that we installed one previously, but unfortunately they had a rather defective to say the least tint reader yeah, but they've upgraded to the same one that the police use which is turnkey instruments and they now have a tint man which will leave them once they've had their tint done with a printout saying the car is road right legal yeah. Yeah. that's amazing so come along with the process with us today guys installing a legal chameleon tint to the st and then later on we'll unveil the car by lifting up the shutters and showing you how good it looks in the sunlight is prepping the windscreen the first thing you've got to do then before yeah. a chameleon tint? Yeah, it's so ready for when we shrink. We want to make sure the outside's clean so we don't get any contamination in the film. Okay, so am I right in thinking that you'd actually line up and shape the chameleon tint to the outside? Yeah. And yeah. then you would fit it to the inside? Yeah, so we basically heat shrink on the outside, trim it to suit, and then clean the inside and fit. What is it that you get up to here while he does that then? So as soon as we finish cleaning the front of the windscreen, I jump straight inside. We start razor blading the front of the windscreen down. We clean all the dash, cover the dash up. Just get the inside of the windscreen completely clean. Get all the trims clean. Anything that the chameleon tint might touch while we go in the car, okay. we get it spotlessly clean so we get no contamination when we finally put it on the inside of the windscreen. So in the last video that I posted on YouTube, they all saw your ST180. Mm -hmm. That has a chameleon tint it on it. It does indeed. So you clearly know what you're doing and uh, you fit one to my car before and to hundreds of other people. So yeah. I'm excited to see what it looks like, especially when those shutters come yeah, out and the really sun hits it. When we get the shutters open, reverse out, you'll see Even better when no one gets his hands on it and yeah. gets to prove whether your tint man is as good as his. Yeah. Should we get right to the bottom as well? Do with a little bit of moisture over here if you want to spray some my that, way. That should be right. Yeah, as long as you've got it over there, I can see it's down to haze. That's perfect. So he's got the heat gun up just to speed up the process of the soap hazing on the windscreen. Is there a reason why you use the heat gun um, It just saves a bit of time and it also puts a bit of heat in the screen. So it just gets a bit of a head start and we lay the film down for shrinking. So we've actually got the roll out here. Yeah, and so. you can see it's called... Ultra Vision. It's their light blue range with a 83% DLT. There we go then. So that should be road legal on a car, right? Not every car. Depends how, how tinted your original screen is, but you've got a higher chance of this being legal than a lot of the other ones. Some of the other ones that people use okay. could be 80 or less. So it might not be legal it then? It might not be, but... Yeah, I we guess we're going to have to fit it and we're going to have to find out. Yeah, so, it's yeah. one of those things with comedians. We'll They're all fit. different. It's all down to the day on the tester, the conditions, it all affects it. Tolerances, of the actual equipment. But mm -hmm. yeah, you've got higher chances of being legal than a lot of them. In my side, just come past that little crease. Well, it has got a blue tinge to it, you know. So, you're shrinking the chameleon tip now, Nick? Yeah, so this is trying to shape your screen. You've got to be really careful at this stage not to get too close or pause or turn the film. Screen's quite easy. So, we have come up against a bit of a hurdle. Now, the black dots that are in the windscreen, I couldn't tell you what they are, like a little bit of a sun visor type dot, thing. Dot matrix. Yeah, dot matrix has my DAB radio antenna in it and my GPS for my Autovox wing mirror dash cam thing. Now, you're going to cut round it, yeah. but I'm a little bit nervous because, yeah, this is a, a hopefully get it right moment. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to watch you. We're going to watch you. We promise you we won't put you under pressure. You're using a torch just to help him? I am indeed. Where is it? Kick down there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? So we're going to have to miss that. All of that in section size, we're going to follow these dots, okay? Can you shine it? You could go in a, if you could go in a few dots, fine. Can you try and go there like that? Yeah. Yeah, I'll come down on this angle here, okay? Right, so as a reward to Shogun Customs, guys, if he can smash this out of the park, then you need to go blow up his Instagram and get your car booked in to have chameleon tip done too. Mm -hmm. Or custom headlights or whatever you're after. Thank you, George. Right, this is going to be the satisfying bit, provided it works. Yay, you've done it now. Mm -hmm. Right, so now you take it off the windscreen, clean it down and put it in the no, inside. So now we've got to clean the inside of the screen. 
leave it on there safe and then we wet it down, roll it up and fit it on the inside. So we're removing the silicon liner and we're going to saturate the film to fit the silicon liner back on so we can roll it and apply it inside. Nice. Okay. So now do you have to roll it up so you can... Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, safest way is to roll it and, and sort of remove the liner once we're inside. There you go. I'll pass it into you. This looks so intricate. Does take a lot of work. I'll give you that. Yeah, this isn't some quick job like no, a. It's, it's not like a, a single window yeah, tint. There's a lot more involved than standard window tints. It's a bloody deep screen. This as well. Look how good that looks. I'm literally smiling from ear to ear because I didn't expect it to look this nice. Right, Nick, you're almost done now. Yeah, so right. if you look over here, guys, the chameleon tint is pretty much finished. He just needs to clean it up. Yep. But we've uncovered something that I didn't realise would happen with chameleon tint. Yes. I now appear to see. No doubt you guys aren't going to see them. No, of course you're not. But there's literally like 65 tiny little stone chips, <laughs> which you would never have seen yeah. had the chameleon tint it's not been on the inside. Got a film behind the glass now. It's going to highlight everything on top. It's such a bit of a shame, but it's one of these. I'm excited to see this. Once it's finished, once we get it out of the door, it'll look great. But yeah, um, hopefully I don't have to replace the windscreen anytime soon. But you might find that that's going to be something that you're going to notice when you get yours done too. So the chameleon tint is now done. The boys have been spending their time cleaning both the inside and out. But the key is to get the shutter open, as I mentioned earlier, and see how good it looks like in natural light. They've also wrapped those facelift wing mirrors in gloss black. Took a little bit of time to get it all sorted, but I'm glad it's now finished. So let's get the shutters open and see how good this thing looks, because I've got a long drive back to Cheltenham. So thank you very much for your help. I have faith. George. This thing's going to look sick. Right, let's get her outside and see how good she looks. Oh my god, the weather's so bad. Look at that colour. It looks beautiful. This is the moment of truth. Shogun Customs are using the Tint Man, which is the same reader the police use, to test how much light is going through my windscreen. It'll then print off a little receipt, which comes out of this thing right here, and then we'll know whether the chameleon tint they have provided is legal for use on the UK roads. 79.1, is it? Yep. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's just disappeared. Oh, uh, just about to print it out. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. So you go to the printer. The printer. And there we go guys, 79.1%. I'd say that's pretty road legal to me. Now let me stop you there really quickly. I wanted to clarify that you need 75% light coming through your front windscreen and 70% through your front driver's and passenger side windows. Make sure that you check your car beforehand and after applying the tint because all cars will come factory standard with a tint even though you can't see it very clearly. So bear that in mind guys, stay safe on the roads and make sure that you don't get pulled, taking this information in and hopefully this helps. Thank you. No prop store, That's George. absolutely amazing. You smashed out of the park. That's that bit of sigh of relief. That's yeah. your readout. Yeah, yeah, well, at least we've, you know, we've checked it with a calibrated machine. It's, yeah. it's a similar version. Well, it's the, it's the later yeah. version to what some of the police forces use. So mm -hmm. yeah, we can't really do any more. Yeah, happy it's all sorted? Yeah, brilliant. I'm glad, I'm glad that you've got your blue chameleon screen now. Yeah, so it yeah. goes to show now, if yeah. people want to book in with you, they know they can get a road legal one officially certified yes. by a reliable device. Definitely still recommend that we you know, do a test sample first and test it, because yeah, there's no sure. point to that for nothing. Well, yeah. you've done a good job. Thank, Thank you, you very George. much. Cheers, boys. <laughs>